If Sarah's age is exactly twice Bill's age, what is Sarah's age? So I'm going to use S for Sarah's age, B for Bill's age, and if Sarah's age is exactly twice Bill's age, that means that S equals 2B. So this is one equation with two unknowns. If we got one more equation, we'd be able to solve. Statement number one tells us four years ago, Sarah's age was exactly three times Bill's age. So Sarah's age four years ago, S minus four, is three times Bill's age four years ago. Well, of course, that's an equation relating S and B also. So if we combine these two equations, we have two equations, two unknowns, we'd be able to solve, and this would be sufficient. Now ignore statement number one. Statement number two tells us eight years from now, Sarah's age will be exactly 1.5 times Bill's age. So eight years from now, Sarah's age plus eight equals 1.5, the age of Bill eight years from now. Well, again, what we have is an equation relating S and B. So if we combine this with the original equation, we have two equations, two unknowns, we'd be able to solve. And this statement by itself is also sufficient. If you find age questions difficult, if this is something confusing for you, I would highly recommend take a look at magoosh.com. We have hundreds of videos preparing people to take the GMAT. Hundreds of math videos and also hundreds of videos on the verbal side including a video specifically designed for how to attack age problems like this. So if you're interested, check out magoosh.com. Meanwhile, both statements are sufficient. That means the answer is D.